We're going to do something very different, something we haven't done in 24 years. On the next election day, we're actually going to elect a Democratic governor for the first time in 20 years. got to be about, because if we had had a Democratic governor in any of the last 20 years, because it was 24 since we elected him, Bill O'Neill served his last four years, now we've had 20 years without a Democratic governor. And if we had had a Democratic governor for any one of those years, this state would be a better place. We would not be dead last for job growth since 1991. That's where we are today. We would not be more reliant on property taxes to pay for education than any other state in the nation because we would have addressed that, that issue. We would not lose more of our young people than any other state in the nation after college graduation with the exception of Alaska because we would be in fact growing jobs. Uh, the reality is, is we need to change direction in this state. And quite frankly, we need an outsider to help us uh, change that direction. And all due respect to my good friend who introduced me, somebody who hasn't necessarily served in Hartford might go to Hartford with some new and different ideas and different ways of getting the job done. And that's what we need. My message is simple. We need a candidate who has a voice. And I'm not talking about the ability to project. I'm talking about the ability to communicate. Because what we have failed to do in this state, uh, as Democrats, is to convey our ideas, to give people confidence, to let them know that we actually do care about job creation. We actually do care about how many of our senior citizens are forced out of the state because they can't deal with the uh, tax burden that they're asked to, uh, to address. We actually do care about transportation, and we would change what this state does about transportation. So we need a candidate with a voice who can speak to people, who can convince them that better days could be ahead if we change direct direction. We need a candidate with a vision. A vision. I believe that Connecticut's best days could still be ahead of them. It'll take a while to turn this thing around. We're going to have to work hard in the next few years. We're going to have to dig out of this terrible deficit situation we're, we're in. But we could, as Democrats, lay a course for a state that would allow it to recoup what it once was. Listen, we had the best public education system in America not so many years ago. We had far lower taxes not so many years ago. We were the insurance capital of the world not so many years ago. And we've traded that in for what? For nothing. For higher taxes, for fewer jobs, for the inability to hang on to our young people. So we need a vision of what the state of Connecticut could, could be. And then finally, we need somebody with a track record. And this is one of the things that makes me different than other folks who might want to be the Democratic candidate. I have served as the mayor of the city of Stanford for 14 years. That may not be significant to you, but I'll explain it. No one has ever served as mayor of the city of Stanford for more than eight years. And I've done it for 14. And Stanford has the second largest Republican party in the state of Connecticut. And in those 14 years, we lowered crime by 63%, making Stanford one of the four safest cities in America in 2007. In a state that hasn't added jobs, we built jobs. In a state that's lost population, we added 12,000 people. In a state that has no affordable housing uh, 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 policy, effective policy, and, and really fails to underwrite the creation and maintenance of affordable housing, we actually built affordable housing with our own money uh, in the city of Stanford. In a state where we fall further and further behind in education, we built a program to make sure that every four-year-old child, regardless of financial circumstances, has the opportunity to get at least one year of pre-kindergarten learning experience. So that we might be willing or might be able to predict that at the end of 12 years, kids would be equal in their accomplishments. So a track record is going to be important. But another part of that track record is, as a Democrat, I could stand on the podium with Jody Rell or any other Republican they throw at us and say, I led a government that the general services portion of the budget did not go up greater than the inflation rate over a 14-year period of time. I am not a tax and spend Democrat. I am get everything you can for every buck kind of Democrat. And quite frankly, that's the kind of Democrat that can win in this state and take this office back and elect the first uh, Democratic governor uh, in 24 years. And that's what we should all be about. See, it's
how long you've known them. This is about who can win. You know, having a favorite in the race who can't win doesn't make any sense. And I, I gotta tell you, I've done this before. Uh, I've been around this state. I come from a part of the state where, quite frankly, being able to draw votes is gonna be important, particularly going against a Republican uh, uh, in this state. We have plenty of time to win this thing. Ask Barack Obama how long a year is. Ask Hillary Clinton how long a year is. Ask the first George Bush who was leading 82% the year before election how long a year is. Ask Bill Clinton who was nowhere a year before how long a year is. Do not lose hope. Do not lose the vision. The vision is how great a state Connecticut could be again if we changed our direction, if we refocused our efforts on everyday people, if we actually cared whether they had a job, if we actually cared whether they had access to health care, if we actually cared whether we stopped having the most expensive public college system in the nation, if we actually cared whether a kid who's been abused by his mother or father or uncle or aunt has somebody who's going to protect him tonight. That's what this election is about. <coughs> Let's take back our state. Thank you very much.